Hello, Michael Jackson famously sang, We are the world, we are the children, we are the ones to make difference. So let's start giving. Yeah. Yeah. We're basically saving our own lives. At least that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So um, what I'm doing is uh, we all have one planet Earth. We all share a common ground, planet Earth. And uh, Earth is doing what other planets are not doing. Or they don't know what to do yet. They used to know Mars and Venus used to know. That's what I read in some, some documents. Um, document. And so um, we will continue to remember, pay more attention to what Earth is doing, and do what Earth is doing. So since we have a body that's human and we walk around, we are like plants on two feet, or animals instead of on four feet on two feet, plants walking, and microbes walking on the feet rather than, you know, also being able to stand up on the, on the head. So we are a fine combination between many kinds of creatures, you know, party animal here. Okay. So it's our skin. Michael Jackson was dealing with skin concerns. Yeah. It's our skin that maintains our boundary between you and me. Humanity across boundaries is also how we interact, whether, whether or not we touch each other. Yeah, we even touched by, for example, you're watching me and depending on how I'm speaking to you, what all I do while I'm speaking with you, you're either touched or you're repelled. Yeah. So we are also communicating. We are touched by how we share something. And the touching happens inside somewhere. Yeah. And our insides are also having several layers of skin. For example, we see skin here. We also have skin around our cell membrane. The cell membrane is a, is a form of skin. Muscles have membranes. Organs also have a skin. Yeah, the heart has a pericardium. The liver has the hepatic capsule. Yeah, uh, the lungs have the pleural um, covering. So at different organs, organ systems, they have their own coverings, skin. So when we say humanity across boundaries, it's also our relationship with two people within the same roof, under the same roof. But it's also our relationship with ourselves between the different layers of skin that forms our own body. Yeah? So there's a relationship with our, our own different layers from within the skin, different layers within the skin, and also outside the skin, other people, plants, animals, microbes, they have their own skin too. So when I say humanity across boundaries, it's both ways. And we, and we could get so lost within our own skin or in the different layers or different kinds of skins, skin outside, which is why, uh, for example, several apps have, you know, choose your skin. What kind of skin would you like? Yeah. So fortunately, unfortunately, our body comes with just well, the skin we have, yeah? And a lot of research goes into just discovering what in the world we already have. For example, WHO system disease is talking about how much we haven't really figured out everything there is about the same structure, anatomy, physiology of a human body that every, the, our entire economy is a human economy, not that of dogs or cats. And the same human body has so many variations, but it's basically a human being has kind of like a standard model. We haven't figured out that standard model itself. Yeah, so we've got lots of studies. So this video is to kind of introduce you to the anatomy and physiology of a humane being. We have a lot of anatomy and physiology of a human being in several kinds of textbooks, several schools of medicine, healthcare, uh, biology. May, uh, must have taught you one of you know bi biology classes. <coughs> you must have heard one other other version about a human body, lungs and liver and intestines and yeah, etc. 
So we are kind of beginning to warm up a little more through my way of a person-centric model of the universe, where every person is like this dot, yeah? At the center of, that's called the Shri, a part of the Shri Chakra, yeah? Um, so each of us, Carl Sagan called Earth as a pale blue dot, yeah? The pale blue dot, yeah? And each of us have our own ways of calling, for example, the lungs. In Kannada, it's called something else. In English, it's called lungs. In Malayalam, it's called different languages call lungs in their own vocabulary. Yeah, so we will cover the alphabets of this dot, little dot of a person. Every person has one body, human, and we have so many languages, yeah? So we learn the body language in terms of alphabets or the alphabets, like the basics of the body language of a humane being. And you also learn the numbers, kind of like mathematics, geometry, algebra, yeah, by, by which to kind of understand a human body. And then we learn vectors, directions. For example, our breath moves front and back, in and out, yeah. Our ears are left and right. So we have our hands that can move like this, left and right, yeah. And we walk forward, yeah. And we have a head on top, legs down, yeah? We sometimes do stand on our head, but we mostly, it's called normal when we walk on our legs, yeah? So that's directions, vectors, yeah? So there, there is more, so where are we, where are we, where is my thought lines coming from? Where are we headed with all of this? Slowly, slowly, you'll begin to start dashing the dots, and dotting the dashes. Yeah, so it all makes sense. So I'll pause for now. Um, I hope this is an, a fairly good, reasonable introduction to anatomy and physiology of a humane being. Thank you for listening.